What's going on everyone? This is Sean from Gen 4 Technology and today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how you can set up the license plate detection feature on your X-Series NVR or XVR. So if you're not in front of your NVR or XVR currently with a camera that supports LPD, let's go ahead and get in front of it. And we're going to go ahead and log in here. So I'm going to log in. Once we're logged in, we're going to go to the main menu. So we're going to go down to the bottom left corner, select this little extension menu, and we're going to go to setup. Within setup, we're going to go to the AI section and select setup. And then we're going to come over here to the license plate detection tab. Within the license plate detection tab, this will list off any camera that supports the license plate detection feature in which you can turn the switch on to turn the feature on. Once you turn it on, always hit apply to save. And then if you want to set up specific parameters within this feature, you're going to go ahead and select this setup option. This will prompt us to the license plate detection configuration page. Starting out, we have channel. Channels where you select what channel you want to configure. Snap mode, we're going to leave on default. Min and max pixel depict how big or small a license plate has to be within the field of view to be triggered as a license plate. So the higher you set these numbers, the bigger the box will draw or will fill in. The lower you set, the smaller it will be. Sensitivity depicts how sensitive it's going to pick license plates up. So the higher you set this, the more sensitive it's going to be, the lower, the less sensitive. Detection type, we're going to set to American license plate. Detection mode is really just based off of what kind of field of view you're working with or area or environment. If you have a situation where vehicles are going to stop within the field of view for a good chunk of time, then you're better off going with static mode. Um, or if you're in a more common situation where vehicles are constantly moving, you want to set it to motion mode. Detection range, this depicts where within the field of view you want license plates to be picked up. I'm going to leave this on full screen, but if you want to, you can hit customize here and then draw this red box or adjust this red box to wherever in the field of view you want to pick up license plates within. LPD Enhance, I recommend putting on. This just helps with the image and picking up license plates. If you want more information on this, go ahead and reference the user manual. Once you have these set up as you like, go ahead and select Save. And then we're going to right click to go back a page. Next, we're going to run through LPD Alarm Setup. So this is where you can configure what you want to happen when a license plate is detected. So let's go ahead and go to this left hand tab here, select alarm, and then go to the tab labeled LPD. Here you'll find a list of all sorts of different options that you can have set to trigger when a license plate is detected. I'll go through them real quick and just give you a rundown on what they do, right? So buzzer, all that does is it causes the MVR to beep, Record, that's where you can turn on recording based off the LPD event and you can select which channel or channels you want to record. Post recording, that's how long it's going to record after the LPD event takes place. Show message, that's where you can turn on a message to pop up on the right hand side that shows you all of the LPD events real time. Send email. Enabling this does just as it says, it sends an email to an email you have configured within the network settings. No, you do have to set that up first to actually utilize this feature. So if you do not have an email synced up, you do that within the network settings. FTP picture upload and FTP video upload. Uh, both of these do as they say, they upload a picture or video to an FTP server that you have to pre-set up within the network settings. Picture to cloud and video to cloud, similar to FTP. Um, you have to go ahead and set up a Google storage service within the system settings, um, either using Dropbox or Google Drive. And then from there, you can have your LPD feature trigger a picture or a video to those cloud services. 
full screen all that's going to do is pull the camera full screen whenever a license plate is detected voice prompts what that will do is when a license plate is detected it will trigger whatever voice prompt you set up once you have these set up as you would like always make sure to hit apply to save and we will now move on to setting up the license plate recognition portion. So what license plate recognition allows you to do is add, edit, and create groups of license plates within a reviewable database. So how do we set up these groups and add license plates to them? Firstly, we're going to go to this left column. We're going to select recognition. We're going to go to the tab labeled license plate management. In here you'll find three auto-generated groups which you can just utilize as their commonly used names allow list, block list, and unknown. Um, you can adjust them to specific names that you want to give them or you can add totally new groups by clicking this green plus sign via this right hand side. Once you have your group set up or named as you'd like you can now go into adding plates to each list based off how you want those plates to be classified. So how do we do this? We select the group that we want to adjust. We select edit. And within edit, we'll have three options here at the bottom that allow you to add plates to this group. The first option is import. Import allows you to manually input the license plate information you want to add to that specified group. So simply fill in the license plate, the other corresponding information if you'd like, and then select import once finished. As you see, it will add it to the list and it will now be considered an allow list license plate. Import from CSV allows you to upload a CSV file to the NVR that has plates that you want to include in this list. And if you review this screenshot right here, you'll see the parameters that you'll have to follow to import the CSV file. Now, if you want more information on this, make sure to reference our NVR X series manual. And lastly, we have import from local, right? So if we click on import from local, as you see, it already has some generated plates here from when I was doing some testing. What you can do here is you can select a specific date and time frame that you want to search through of plates that have been detected within that day or up to a month and you can add those to the list that you are setting up right so how do you add those to the list once you find the plate within the generated options down here you'll simply select the little checkbox next to the plate you want to add hit ok Fill in your corresponding information just like we did in the import overview and then once you're done select import. You'll see operation finished once succeeded and you'll hit exit and you'll now see it's added to your list. Once you have your list set up you can exit out, hit apply to fully save and that will wrap up our configuration of our database slash groups. Next, we're going to go into LPR alarm setup, and this is where we can set up what we want to trigger or happen when any plates are recognized within these groups we just set up. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop back over to this left hand column. We're going to go to alarm and we're going to go to LPR. Within LPR, you're going to see those groups you just created and you're going to see some options to the right of each group. So what are these options? What do they do? I'll go over them very briefly, right? So enable alarm. This is where you can just turn on or turn off this alarm feature in general for each of these lists. Fault tolerant. This depicts how off the license plate can be to still be potentially recognized as a plate within each group. Meaning say you have a situation where a plate is only able to be recognized um, via half the plate, like half the characters are only able to be seen clearly. This fault tolerant option will still allow these alarms to be triggered when that plate is potentially detected, even if it doesn't have all of the characters. So you may get some false alarms based off that, but you may also still detect something that you want to detect. So it can be a useful feature. 
alarm. This is where you actually depict what you want to happen when a license plate is recognized within these groups, right? So you have quite a few options here, very similar to LPD. If you wanna go back to that portion of the video, it will explain what these options do, but I'll just run through what options you have. You have buzzer, license plate capture, save background, show thumbnail, send email, FTP picture upload, picture to cloud, and voice prompts. Once you have whatever options you want to trigger when a license plate is detected, select save to save it down, and then you can hit exit to go back. And note you can do this for each group, and they don't have to be the same, they can be different. Um, the next column is going to be alarm schedule. This is where you can schedule when you want these triggered outcomes to be active, right? So you can either click and singularly go through and schedule each day, or you can go the easier route and draw like you would in Microsoft Paint. So click hold and you can draw a box, which will you know, deselect or select in, right? So anything that's blue is active. Anything that's not blue is not active. Once you have your schedule set up as you want, again, make sure to always hit save and then you can exit out. The last option is alarm channel. Um, this is where you can select what channels you want this alarm to be active for. That wraps up the configuration side of the LPR feature. We'll now go over how to utilize LPR via playback. So let's go ahead and close out of our alarm page here. Go back to our live view. Go down to the bottom left menu extension and click on it. Select the option search. We're gonna to go to AI here at the top and then select license plate. And then from here you have a few filters that you can adjust um, based off what you're looking for and when you're looking for it. So we have our time frame. That's where you can select the date and time that you want to review plates from. You have up here at the top alarm group. So that's where you can actually specify and filter by whatever groups you set up if you want to, or you can select all so all groups are included or all plates in general if you didn't really set up groups yet. Channels, this is where you can select what channels you want to include in that search that support the LPR feature. License plate, this is where you can actually specify a license plate number that you want to search by if you need to search by a specific license plate number. And then fault tolerance, going back to our alarm setup, is how many characters you will give leeway of for recognizing a plate, meaning if the plate isn't fully recognized or a clear enough image to see all of the characters, um, this number depicts how many characters that license plate can be off to still be flagged or considered a license plate that we are searching for. Once you have all of these filters set as you want, you're gonna select search. It will fill in this right hand side with all sorts of plates that are found within those parameters. And then you can either double click on the image to go directly to the playback section or you can select the image and it will play at this bottom left corner here. You can also put a check mark in this checkbox. Go down to this play icon and select this little arrow extension and you can actually select how many minutes you want to play back via a quick playback option. Um, and then your last option is you can select the video clip and you can select backup here and it will back up that clip to a flash drive, assuming you have a flash drive hooked up. That wraps up this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Like the video if this was hopefully helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you have a nice rest of your day.